what is going on guys my name is jay fanta and welcome back to a brand new video so with the hype of the three year anniversary coming to global in a few weeks comes with the free ginyu force that is all free to 100 percent if you haven't seen them on the jb side of Dokken battles they are really good and each ginyu force has their own unique trait uh, but obviously we don't have them on global as of yet so in this video we are going to see what the free to play ginyu force at this current time can do on a token event. Sorry, this is the team we are running. I tried to resemble uh, the Ginyu Force to the 100% ones as close as possible. So with typing and everything like that. Of course, we don't have the LR Ginyu, so we don't have like a proper leader. So with that, I'm going to run Demon King Piccolo. Um, and obviously, uh, I'm not going to bug anyone with changing their friends to a Ginyu Force member or, you know, anything crazy like that. So we're going to run a 120 lead Rose A friend. Uh, just to give us a chance to beat a joke event because you know <laughs> they aren't good whatsoever but let's quickly go through the trash passives that each of the units have so starting with ginyu uh we have huge damage multiplier and rare chance of increasing attack and defense by 50 percent if this happens to activate it's actually a really good passive not gonna lie uh attack and defense plus 50 percent uh <laughs> <laughs> but with a rare chance it's like 20% chance of happening so it's very rare to happen but if it happens in the video that would be sweet next we have Jace here huge damage multiplier as well all of them have huge damage multiplier I'm pretty sure and he's passive is attack plus 1000 at, uh, when he is the second attacker in the turn very unique very unique next we have the AG Alberta huge damage multiplier and key plus 2 when first to attack which is not bad means you don't have to get full key to actually get a super attack with him next we have Raccoon couldn't forget Rakum. He's actually the only one with extreme damage multiplied, which is funny enough. And he has a rare chance of increasing his attack by 50%. So like Ginyu, 20% um, chance of happening. And then we have Goldo. Couldn't forget Rhyme Styles. Uh, Spirit Animal. Huge damage multiplier. Defense negative 50% for the enemy when three attacks in a row, which I have no idea what that even means. Does that mean he has to get three attacks in a row? Does that mean the opponent has to attack three times in a row before he gets that? I don't even have a clue what the wording means, but anyway, most of them have two key links together. I'm pretty sure they have the Ginyu Force, obviously, attack plus 25%, which is really good, which makes uh, the actual, you know, good Ginyu Force really good. And then I think they mostly have signature pose, key plus two. So key shouldn't be an issue, especially when we have two key at the start of the turn, as well as the uh, three key for the Rosé. Uh, the events we're going to go up against is nothing too difficult, okay? Don't think I'm going to do some super too difficulty thing. We're just going to have some fun and do some Z-Hard, you know, back in the old days of Dokkan Battle. I call this squad the Ghetto Squad because it's not too good whatsoever. And they're nowhere near compared to the awesomeness that's going to happen in the three-year anniversary. So, let's do Gogeta first up, the second stage. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done the stage. Uh, it's very useless to me. <laughs> And we're going to see if we can find a Rosé friend. Easy, first up. Uh, good items are good for me. Let's get started. <laughs> this is going to be so terrible. Alright, so 125,000 HP, which is not bad for the units. This team cost, I'm pretty sure, is like in the 50s. So, for a team that has only 50 team cost, it's not, <laughs> it's not that bad, honestly. Rosé is definitely going to carry the team, but I'm going to avoid using Rosé as much as possible. Maybe one or two super attacks at the most. Um, but I'm going to keep him in the third rotation all the time and keep these guys up front. So, Goldo can be up first. I don't even know if his passive will ever activate because I have no idea what the wording of that thing is. Um, but they all can uh, able to super attack pretty easily. You know what? Uh, let's just normal attack with Rosé against uh, AGL Vegeta. Not going to get him any super attacks until maybe when we need him. We're going to get super attacked for 31,000. Good defense, I guess. <laughs> maybe We're going to do a few Doken events, honestly. If this goes pretty fast. Um, and then, we, you know, we'll try to get to the super level. <laughs> we'll try to do the easiest super 2 difficulty t uh, events. But I don't have any, you know... <laughs> well, Rose takes him out one shot. Man, back in the day, 100,000 was a big deal. <laughs> Alright, so this one, <laughs> if you don't know, Gogeta actually takes one turn before he attacks, which is very surprising. Uh, again, we're going to keep our Demon King Piccolo away from the fight as much as possible as well, because, you know, he's going to be too OP. <laughs> Funny enough, <laughs> even though he's nowhere near OP. But Birda here is probably our strongest unit for this event. 64,000. Yeah, 
That's good stuff. <laughs> Alright. We'll probably get one sewer attack off with Rose at the least. And then we'll try to finish him off with the Ginyu Force. So, uh, let's go Birda last. I'm actually going to King Yemma. Because we have a Raccoon getting an attack. So, I don't want that to happen. Uh, Jace gets his most uh, power from being the second attacker. Although it's only a thousand attack. Still pretty decent. Look, the base attack is only at 10,000. So, it's like a 10% increase in attack. Which is... Not the worst thing. And then Raccoon, you can get a super attack. Why not? I don't think his passive went off either. I have no idea. The, the, their base attack is so low that it doesn't even look like the passive will ever be on. But we'll see. I'll say like 20,000 attack is probably when their passive is on. Or, you know, you just double check by moving them around. And we're going to get super attacked by uh, against Jace. So it's not the worst thing ever. And then we're probably going to heal up in the next turn. Having Rosé. I'm going to super attack with Rosé one time. One time for the boys. And good for us that uh, Berta does not need all the key. We'll grab all these. And then we'll super attack with Rosé. If he gets a crit, he'll probably take Gogeta out, honestly. But I really wanted, um, you know, Berta and Jace together. Because they're, you know, the iconic duo. But I don't really want to change the rotations around. That means we get Raccoon. Or Rosé or Piccolo in the main rotation. 700,000 is good sign. <laughs> it feels, it's like a breath of fresh air, honestly. <laughs> and he doesn't take him out, but that will be enough for us to finish him off with the Ginyu Force here. So, Goldo gets a super attack. Ah, oh, man, doesn't look like Jace will get a super attack. Um, but that's fine. And then we'll get a... Oh, wait, actually, we can't get a super attack with Piccolo. 17,000. This passive did not activate. I still don't know <laughs> what that even means. Alright, one bar to go. Can we do it with the Guinea Force? Let's see. Uh, we are going to go Stush here. Again, Raccoon, I don't really need you. I'll uh, we'll grab these, grab these purples. And uh, you know what? Just grab this red. <laughs> there we go. Instant super attack. <laughs> 65,000. His passive did not activate either. Come on, we need his passive to activate. At least once. Once. Alright, where is at the end? I'm going to Princess Snake. And, um, can you get a super attack? Jace, get a super attack. And then Rose, you're just gonna normal attack. You're probably gonna take him out, honestly, Rose. Just because of how much damage he can do with just a normal attack. 40,000. When we get to the harder events, I'll definitely don't, I'll definitely won't, uh, you know, do what I'm doing right now. I will, uh, super attack majority of the time, and Rosé is going to finish him off, so. <laughs> Damn it, couldn't finish him off with uh, the, uh, Ginyu Force, but that's okay. Let's move on to the next stage, so I'll get to you guys when we get into the next event. Okay, guys, so we are back. We're going to move up a level, and we're going to do a super stage here, and that's going to be Buhan. I have no confidence whatsoever beating this event. I have switched a few things with the team as well. Uh, Ginyu now being SDR, and I'm switching uh, Goldo to becoming Int, and then Jace is going to be Tech. We still get the boost from Rosé. I just wanted Goldo to be Int because he has a rare chance of stunning all the enemies. Uh, Jace, however, uh, he now lowers uh, the enemy's attack for three turns when he attacks, and which is not bad, 10%. Uh, it, I'm probably assuming that's going to stack up at least one time. And then Ginyu now is STR, which means he only provides allies attack plus 1,000 to all allies when three attacks in a row, which I have no idea what that means. What does that even mean? <laughs> same leader, same uh, friend leader. Let's get started. I will have to delay... Buhan as much as possible into the uh, physical stage, which is where we can do the real damage. Although I will, however, uh, try my best to do as much damage as possible. Let's get as much key as possible as well. Uh, here we go. I have no confidence whatsoever in doing this event, but if we somehow make it out alive, you know, that would be super good. But real quick, I after the Gogeta Doken event, I checked the Doken timer after we finished that, and we actually got a record for that event. That's how you know I haven't done that event for so long. We did that uh, Gogeta event in five minutes, and that was my record. <laughs> I didn't check what my old record was, but yeah, it's it. <laughs> it wasn't good, okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> with the meta now, you could probably do it in like 30 seconds. All right, so now we have a uh, pretty good rotation here. I'm gonna put Raccoon in the front because he is the only one with type advantage. Uh, we can get a super attack him with him, uh, that's okay. I'm gonna straight away Icarus because, you know, I don't wanna get hurt anyway. Um, and unfortunately we couldn't uh, link up the Guinea Force, so the key situation is not that great. Maybe I should have saved those red orbs for Rosé. But 2,000 damage, okay. If we can get damage like that for majority of the fight, that would be awesome. Okay. <laughs> Look at that little damage, but he does have great damage reduction. And of course, we're going to get super attacked by the wrong person. Okay. Hopefully, Goldo comes in clutch in the, ne the next few turns with the rare chances to stun. That would be super awesome. Uh, here, we are going to... Super attack with Rosé. I don't even know what Rosé's passive is, honestly. Uh, let's see. Uh, extreme class allies attack plus 30%. He provides allies to keep us three defense. Okay. Although we can't do these uh, super enemies uh, negative in attack and defense, he's still going to be pretty good. Uh, here, I will have to uh, just risk it. Hopefully, Jace does not get super attacked whatsoever. 88 damage. Yes. Okay. That's good. That's good stuff. And the next is going to be Boo Tanks with the seals. 100,000. Okay. <laughs> as long as we're doing some damage, right? Alright, how much damage? Okay, 10k. If he does... Yeah, we, we're good. We're good. Probably going to heal up here. And then, um, you know, Icarus or something again. <laughs> no, I'm going to Princess Snake. Let's Princess Snake instead. Uh... Actually, Raccoon won't be any uh, use for us for the next fight. So, we're going to put him in the last slot. Princess Snake. Oh, he was stunned. No, I wasted my item. Oh, man. Why didn't you guys tell me? Wow. I really didn't think that we would get <laughs> the stun first up for Goldo. Goldo is going to be clutch then. If this happens a lot. All right. Damn it. I could have saved an item, but that's okay. We got the heal, I guess. Can't be too mad. Uh, then we have to just risk it here. I think I will keep uh, Ginyu up front. Actually, we're going to keep Bird up just because he has the type advantage. Well, he won't get his passive, but it was not a big deal. We can get a super attack majority of the time anyway. All right, 11 damage. Thank you, thank you. There's no defense uh, items used, so Rosé is going to be so good. If you can get a crit, that would be even better. 140,000. Although, heal <laughs> any damage we do is going to be healed up by Boo, Boo Ikolo. <laughs> and then, this should be the last round. And then we can move on to the Boo Tanks. He can see us, so we're going to be a little bit more careful. Can we get another stun? No, of course we couldn't. <laughs> uh, let's go like this. And we are going to... Damn, 12 rounds? Okay, we're going to Icarus here. And then get a super attack with Demon King Piccolo. Why not? Uh, grab these and we'll grab these. Try to get that Doken mode after Buriccolo. That would be the best situation. So try not to get as many uh, colored orbs of the same type. We are getting a beating though. 41,000. That's what I like to see. <laughs> One bar down. Let's go. You know, last a full four turns with this guy. Um, we're good for another turn, honestly. And let's get a super attack as well. Raccoon. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait for the new cards to come out. They're going to be so much easier to use. 10,000. Big smack damage. 334,000 critical, let's go. And he's going to super attack us, but we got the Icarus and we, you know, got that high defense. Right, Goldo, are you going to stun for us for the clutch? No, you're not. Okay. 
Uh, let's go with another princess snake. Man, I could have saved one princess snake. That would have been so good. Um, grab these. Grab these. And grab these. Only Goldo gets the super attack. I wish Goldo had his super attack mechanic being stuns as well. That would also be amazing. We just need to last one more turn, and then we have Boudicolo to face. And then we can burst the uh, physical Super Boo, which will probably take him out there because we have uh, Rosé. Alright, so... Actually, we Ghost Usher. We can stop at least one healing phase, which would actually be really good. Actually be really clutch. So this might work really well. Obviously we need to get as much damage with Rosé as possible. It's going to super attack us. How much is it going to do? Since we don't have like Princess Snake or Icarus on. 32,000. We'll take that. We'll take that. Luckily he wasn't super attacked at first or else we got us sealed. Okay, so moving on to Boo Icolo. The healing god himself. He's stunned. Okay, that means one one less Ghost Usher to use. Thank you, Goldo. Thank you, Goldo. You are the king. All right, we're going to try and delay as much as possible for the Doken mode. It's building up really quick. Raccoon here could be useful, but we need that Goldo stun. All right, so let's Ghost Usher here. And then that means we only let him heal once, which is fine by me. Now we're going to put uh, Ginyu up front just because he will have type advantage against the Buhan. Fortunately, the bar looks like he's going to get filled, but there's no big deal because he's... We, oh, wait, okay. As long as we can avoid a super attack with everybody, we should be fine. Goldo, if you can get another stun one more turn. One more time, for one more stun. Come on. Ah, uh, no stuns, no stuns. Okay, so... Yeah, I am trying to avoid super attack, so I'm going to put the Ginyu 4 separately. Um, that is 6 key, which is not enough, so I'll take that. I'll grab these greens here. We're going to also heal up. Uh, yeah, we're also going to heal up. Hopefully, Buriklo does not super attack us because we have Jace at the end. Should have put G uh, Goldo at the end. I wasn't really thinking. But hopefully, Piccolo's uh, passive where he minuses uh, enemies attack by 25% comes in clutch. He's going to heal 400,000. Okay, please. Normal. 17,000. He's going to super attack us. Please not be 100. Okay, good, good, good. All right, I think we should be able to finish him off in this turn right here. All right, so uh, Rose, at the uh, Rose at the front. Get the heal just in case. You know, you never know. Uh, and then we get to Ginyu to super attack as well as Raccoon. Here we go. Hopefully Rose takes him out in one shot. There's no way we did a super, super stage <laughs> with a team cost of 50. Come on. I believe, I believe. Alright, here we go. Come on, let's get a crit as well, just to see how much damage you can do here. 1.4 million, that's going to take out a super boo. Let's go, guys. No way. We just beat a super event using a full free-to-play team for starters, of course, and a full team of just SRs and rares. So you guys always request me to beat uh, events with SRs and rares. So we kind of did it there. Obviously, we had a little boost with our friend and our own leader, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed it. It took us 11 minutes to finish this event. <laughs> if you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video around, but as always, thank you guys for watching. It's been Jay Fanta, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay fizzy, peace out.